Hi everyone, my name is Tom Watkins with Advanced Upstream and today we're going to finish up a test that's been about a day in the making. We are testing 1001 stages of our limitless frack system. Um, there's a lot of buzz in the industry talking about higher stage counts. Specifically in the Montany we're seeing stage counts approach 300 stages. We wanted to do something that was completely out of scope from what's happening today so we're testing 1001 sleeps. So in just a few moments we'll be pumping our dart through the fixture that we have here. Our limitless dart has passed through 1,000 sleeves and will engage and land and open the 1,001st sleeve. So for our 1,001 sleeve test, this is our, our fixture that we're using. So we've got uh, a pump truck uh, to the right hand side. That'll be pumping down the And in the jig itself, we've got an array of sleeves. Um, you can't see them all in frame here, but you can see one here to by left and then a second down here. We up our limitless start through the fixture many times. You can see here the uh, number of tallies that we've done. And we're now at the point to land in the last sleeve will be the 1001 first uh, stage count. So what'll happen, we'll pump the dart through the fixture one last time and once we achieve that 1001 count, it'll engage, open the cluster sleeve, and the final landing sleeve. So at this point in our fixture, we have one cluster sleeve and one landing sleeve. This particular cluster sleeve is equipped with orifices that can be adjusted to simulate a limited entry style of pressure drop. So we can size these nozzles to give a pressure drop for a given flow rate. Um, to my right hand side, the left of the frame, this is a regular landing sleeve and the reason we have this sleeve on the outside of it is so that when it opens we don't wind up with a big flood everywhere. So we'll see water spraying out of this and through our cluster sleeve with the nozzles there's actually a small piece of plastic inside that's a restrictor. We'll see water spraying out of them. These pins right here that look kind of interesting, these are uh, shear pins that are installed backwards and this is just so that uh, water doesn't come spraying out of those holes. Normally those would be equipped with shear pins, but for a surface test, we've only got two installed um, to keep our pressures lower. So for the test, you'll see water spraying out of the cluster sleeve first, and then finally a jet out of the landing sleeve here, and the limb of the start will be isolating the cluster sleeve from the downstream wellbore. So here is our limitless start with the ball in place feature. This is already past uh, nearly a thousand stages and you can see there's hardly any any markings on it so now we're going to load it one last time in the jig where it's going to land in the 1001 sleeve so vast you want to open the the fixture up we'll get it loaded So the dart is unidirectional. Um, obviously the ball section is going to be up hole and then the nose is going to be down hole. So we'll load it inside the jig. So the dart's been loaded in the fixture and we're about to begin pumping. It's going to pass through the remaining sleeves and land in our 1,001st sleeve in our, our simulated well board. So let's get going. We'll take a look at the jig. You'll obviously see some water spraying. We'll open one cluster sleeve and then the final landing sleeve. So I think it was pretty clear that we opened the one cluster sleeve and then our 1,001st landing sleeve. 
Uh, I think in the future we're going to put a little bigger restriction in the cluster sleeve because we had a little bit of a, a strong fountain. Um, the pressure drop across that dart at that point was about 3,000 psi or around 21 MPa. Um, so our dart's definitely holding and you can see that, that the system does work. So imagine if that was in a 1,001 stage well, we'd still be able to open sleeves and operate accordingly. Okay, so we have extracted the cluster sleeve and landing sleeve. The dart landed onto the cluster sleeve, opened it, passed through it, and then landed onto the landing sleeve. That's how we saw two jets coming out of these two sleeves. You should see the dart is sitting here. We can see it from the end.